Good morning. Time to make a new camp out. All right, y'all. Just been working on the car, and uh, it is freaking hot in here. I mean, right in this blistering sun. It's uh, whew. so I'm going for a break. Going to grab some lunch, pick up some nuts and bolts and things, and then we'll get back to it. I think I've got the design for the whole back structure and how it's going to go together. So we'll see. Look at that boat in the front yard of this place. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, y'all, I didn't feel like recording because I was just running, 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 but I just went to four different hardware stores trying to find some different extruded aluminum to make everything happen and the screws to bolt the frame down and I couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna have to just find an alternative solution on site, so we'll see. Basically what alternative solution means is that the bed frame is likely going to sit up higher by another five eighths of an inch, reducing my space vertically, just because I can't find the right screws. Unless I go to Kota or Pogorica, whatever the capital is, and get the right screws, which is a two hour drive. Now the one beauty of having all these marine stores nearby is look at this freaking cable. You can have no issue getting nice electrical cables. This is like 80 millimeter or something. 70 millimeter cable. That's nuts. Sweet. Boat store. Ropes. Cables. Hoses, ropes, 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 ropes. Now if they have black bungee, that's gonna be sweet. But I don't see it. Holy shackle. Portable toilet. USA. Yeah. 
they make the nets here. It's totally cool. Look at that. That's how you catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> now this is cool. It's a scooter. Underwater scooter. I think I need a bigger camper. <laughs> Alright, so now I've got to pull off all of these Vic Trash controllers off of this battery box and cut the thing down. Hyperlapse. All right, the Vic Trash components are coming off. Now, here is the reason that these Vic Trash, I mean Victron, Vic Trash components are trash, is because they have these tiny little flathead screws to tighten down on the wires that go inside of there. And these screws slowly back their way out over time. So you have to tighten these like once a month. It's absolutely crazy. This is totally junk. This is totally junk. I don't know why everyone uses this stuff. It's absolutely going in the trash. So yeah, as you can see, I siliconed it, but the silicone can only do so much when the screw backs its way out there. I guess I should have filled the whole screw hole with silicone. The whole thing's just sketchy all the way around. And it smoked from day one, charging. High quality, made in the Netherlands. Insert Dutch joke. Made in India, designed in Netherlandy. welding on this thing here. This, this wee lad needs some work, but she's gonna do nice in the car. Yes, sir. With these junk aluminum welds, we're actually starting to fatigue, and it looks like, oh yeah, look at that. How many more? miles until that broke off and then the whole thing started getting loose. What about this side? I'm going to cut the height down. But essentially, this, hopefully y'all can see, is what's going to kind of go up in here, more or less, in the middle, between the fridges. Just going to figure out how to bolt it down. 
Honestly, I think it's gonna go down pretty nicely. With all this foam, except for right there. But I mean, if we weld this whole thing where it's rigid, I put one screw here, one screw there, and one screw there. Is this side gonna wanna pick up? That's the worry. And then I have to put some sort of something down in here. This is a little loose. Gotta find something. And that steel in there is not exactly thick. Only over there. All right, I'm gonna head back home before the sun fully goes down. So I really wanna go for a little bit of a swim. It's so hot, I'm getting eaten alive by these darn skeeters mosquitoes those that don't know and yeah we're gonna get a earlier start tomorrow now that i've got my head around what needs to be done i'm gonna cut that box down and start well see i can't even start bolting in those l brackets because i don't have the correct uh screws i think what i'll do is i'll actually bolt the l brackets in look there's skeeters inside the car I'll bolt the L brackets in with the old screws, get it all drilled, countersunk, ready to roll, just like, that way, I, once I find those screws, I can have it going, but at least I can start building the whole box frame. I got my new little notebook for 90, they're 69 cents, and yeah, so, I'll show you the design here. What we're gonna do, uh-oh, got an oncoming car, and we're gonna show you the design. Okay, so here's the design. Right there, here's our Albanian friends. Look at those guys, of course they're in old Mercedes. <laughs> but anyway, here's the design, essentially. And this freaking mosquito. Get motherfucker. Got him, look at that. So I told you, freaking mosquitoes in here. I gotta get out my notebook. Good Lord. There we go, wiped up. Okay, ready for class. So, here's the situation, if y'all can see this. Fridge, fridge on the other side as well. Here's the battery tray, with the battery in it. We'll have wood going up just so far, an aluminum plate that goes across that. There'll be about two inches between that aluminum plate and the top of the battery, maybe two and a quarter, something like that. On top of that aluminum plate is going to be all of this stuff, the shunt, the relay, the DC-DC, the fuse box, not the inverter, the Tiger X-Bed little relay box. And all those wires will quickly, neatly go down through that aluminum. I'll have to come up with some sort of grommets to go down through there. And now that I'm in a boating town, I'm sure I can find grommets. I didn't look for those today, but I'll have to. And it'll go down in there. The wires will coil up out of the way underneath. And then on top, we'll have a piece of wood with two little legs that'll come and sit flat to level the whole thing out for the bed. And that wood will lift off and I'm sure I can put little rubber feet on the wood and the aluminum so nothing makes noises and squeaks and moves. But essentially that's what's gonna happen there. Maybe the aluminum even is gonna sit in some little studs into the wood or something like that to really lock it in place so it's not bouncing against cutting a hole into the side of the plastic of the fridge. Now, all of these wires will just be coiled up there, which means from the top, it'll be this really neat, nice thing. And then down underneath, I mean, not coiled in a sense, it's gonna create like, you know, a magnetic field with coils and such, but just looped in a way that it's out of the way and that it can be quickly pulled up to service the batteries and pulled out of the way enough and also drop back down. So that's the idea there. Hopefully, get all that nice and neat and nice looking i don't know about the inverter that's the only thing because i don't know where i could put this freaking inverter because it's so big this 3000 watt inverter but it is nice to have the inverter to power that electric hot plate if the bms of the batteries are working right if we can't fix the bms of the batteries to work right <clears throat> then we're going to either have to order new batteries because something's wrong with them or just ditch the inverter and the hot plate 
and assume that I'm not gonna be able to cook. But the nice thing about the hot plate is I can also pull it out of the car if I do stay other places and plug it in and cook. So that is also a convenient thing to not forget about. So it would be nice to be able to have that option if I can't find gas or don't have gas, but only again, if we can actually get the batteries to work properly. Otherwise the inverter could be ditched. And I guess I could keep the hot plate for the random places that I can't that have electric. So yeah, anyway, th th this is such a long video because there's so many thoughts, but that's where we're at. This is the thought stage. This is mulling through and massaging the ideas so that this space turns into a nice space. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> break, 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 break. That was fun. The tires were skipping on that. Oh, here we go. There they go, traction control. And I'm not even in sport mode. I'm in like, and I'm not even wearing my seatbelt. I don't know, I'm filming, so I didn't put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Sorry, officer. Oh, wait, it's probably not even a law in this country. Click it. Or ticket. No, there's no tickets here. But yeah, that's the joy of this car. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Reminds me of that video. Of that artificial laughing sound. At any rate, I'm going to cut the video off. Go home, cook dinner, and go for a swim. So, we'll see y'all in the morn. Peace out. Make sure to hit the like, the subscribe, and the comments below if you have something to say about my design. And I know there's like 10,000 different ways you could design and build a bed in the back. And in hindsight, I probably should have just built a put a two by four with plywood bed in the back of this thing with a little bit of storage underneath and no fancy electric and no anything and just driven around the world and said yebiga yeah, and just not worry about it and find food places and yada yada but you know what I like to do things to like a complicated degree and that's why this is not just Connor driving around the world but it's Connor geeking out on this overland technical build and then driving around the world so at any rate that's what we got that's why i like it and that's why i hate it at the same time i hate the complications because the more and more stuff that i do to complicate this means all of the personal sweat and design and time into it that if something happens i can't get back whereas if it's just the car it's just money you can figure out a way to make more money you know, it's a lot of money. We've worked very hard for years for the money. But that can be, I don't know. It's like, it's hard to describe. But money is just money. And the time and energy put into this feels to be so much more than the money of the car, if that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, signing out.